Welcome to Learning MoGraph Profusion. Today we're going to be talking about node basics. How do we apply effects? How do we do basic transformations? This is going to be a quick overview to help you get going doing MoGraph and Fusion. Let's get started. Here's a piece of footage. What we want to do is we want to move this clip. We can't. There's no way of moving it. I can't select in here and move this clip. There's no properties in here that are any type of transform properties. Now, there's properties that control the import settings, the format settings, all that stuff, but I, I want to move it. So how do we move it? So we add a transform node, right? And this transform node, if I view it, you notice how how that happens here. I'm now, I'm only viewing this node. It's represented by this white dot. I add a transform node, and I put the transform node in the viewer. Now I'm viewing the effects of the transform node. This is the transform. I have control over rotation, positioning, and scale. So pretty much uh, if you were to twirl down an After Effects layers, um, I think it's T for transform. If you were to twirl down its properties, you'd be presented with those properties. So that's pretty much now we're equal. You know, you can just stack that underneath it, and that's what you have. These, these are representative of this. So we, we can move it. So what else do we want to do? We want to add a blur. So let's add a blur. So we add a blur. So you notice here right away that I added a blur. It's affected the whole image. So basically it's it's functioning like a an adjustment layer, you know, in After Effects. So in Fusion, it's just, you know, there's only one direction you're going in. And it's basically follow these little arrows. That's the direction we're going in. So this node is affecting everything behind it, essentially acting as an adjustment layer. Now, I can control a certain parameter, a certain portion. And now I'm, by this mask, this basically circle mask or this little mask I made, I'm controlling what gets blurred. So it's basically like putting a mask on uh, an adjustment layer. Now, if I want to only blur and keep the parameters inside this layer, I can actually use this as its own effects mask. And now you've noticed that I've, I have essentially locked in the alpha to just that. So with this blur, I'm going to add a glow. We've got a glow. This glow here is affecting everything. Now I'm only affecting a certain part of the glow. It's only affecting a certain part in this case. In this case, here's the glow that's being affected. So I'm going to come to the glow, and then I'm going to say glow. Whoa, there we go. So I'm controlling this glow by adding a, a mask. This mask, real quick, here's my masking tools. I made a mask. It's essentially uh, got a solid edge. I can here go make it a full solid edge. There's my mask with a full solid edge. I added a blur, a standard blur that you would use to blur uh, an image or a piece of footage. I can add it straight to the mask. Now I've blurred this mask and I've given, given it a soft edge. That's affecting my glow. So that is a quick um layout of how a, a f some footage would be affected now we haven't done any compositing per se we've really just added effects uh, and transforms to one piece of footage so let's look at some uh, compositing here we go we've got a nice little composite here a node tree and we've kind of built um, there it is thanks for watching We'll come back in another tutorial, get a little deeper into compositing and adding multiple effects and that sort of thing. Remember, take what you learned and make it better.